Happy TGIF everyone! Welcome to my channel. My name is Elizabeth and I am here to share some very, very special happy mail, friend mail, feel better mail. But I'm also here because I want to talk about a couple issues that I seem to be having at my post office that I didn't find out until today. Um, basically, I just came from the post office and I requested to speak to the postmaster who happened to be there in the office and I went off. I didn't care who was around. I, my mouth went off and this is the reason why. I get a lot of mail, personal mail, mail from my channel, from all of you. I went into the post office. I had all these tickets and usually what that means is that there is something being held for you because it will not fit into my mailbox. Even though I have a pretty decent sized mailbox, um, sometimes it's just not enough. So I took all the tickets, brought them up to the counter, and they gave me several packages. And then the gentleman behind the counter says, well, hold on a second, because I have a note here. I said, okay, so I'm hanging, you know, do do do. Clue is out in the car. I can see her from the window. She's just like, what's going on, mom? Come on, let's go. And he comes back to the counter and goes, we had to return some packages. I was like, why? They basically told me, I don't know any of the names of the people. Uh, there was four packages. All the gentleman could tell me was a couple were from Indiana. He said one was Pennsylvania, and i sorry, I don't remember the fourth one. I said, well, what is going on? What? Tell me what's going on. I said, what's the issue? He says, there was four packages sent from different areas. Evidently, the packages came into the post office. They didn't have enough postage, which I don't understand because they came from the different states. They got here to New York. Evidently, when they got here to New York, New York decided there wasn't enough postage, and so there was postage due. Normally, they let me know if there's something there that has a postage due and if it's not like insane amount of money and depending on where it's coming from, you know, I can either refuse it or accept it. Well, I was not informed about any of these packages. They were all sent back. I'm absolutely livid with the post office. I really do not know what to say except for I gave them <laughs> hell. So if some of you have sent me something and I have not responded, this is probably what the issue is. And I didn't want anyone to think that I was being rude because I would never not acknowledge somebody for sending something, whether it's verbally here or in a physical card, in a phone call, letter, email, you're going to hear from me no matter what. So. Unfortunately, I have no control over what the post office did. Um, I vented, I made my wishes very well known, and that if this crap got pulled again, I would completely pull out of the post office and go somewhere else because I'm not gonna tolerate that kind of crap. The gentleman that I spoke to was pretty snippy with me. Um, I let the postmaster master know about that. Everybody there knows me. Those packages should have been put on the side they should have waited for my approval or my not approval. So I really apologize to those of you that may get a package back. Um, I hope you get back what you've sent. Um, obviously you spent sent money to send it to me. You've put something to mail to me and now it's heading back in your direction. So the least that could hopefully happen is that you do get your items back that you sent to me. Again, I sincerely apologize but I have no control over the post office and what they choose to do. Here's another, just an example. I received a card in the mail. I will cover up your information. This is from Shantae in North Carolina. Now, let me cover up Shantae's information. Bear with me here one second. This envelope was tossed in my post office box. There's no marking on it. See that pen mark through the stamp? I didn't do that. There's absolutely no markings except for the barcode down here, anywhere on this envelope, front or back. So I have no idea where it's been. I have no idea. So, Shantae, my dear, first of all, set me some tea and I am so ready for a cup of tea right now. You have no idea. I'm driving home from the post office and I'm like, son of a, mm, I'm flinging every word out there. I am so 
frustrated because I don't like when people mess with stuff. And it's like if, oh, I'm just frustrated. However, I have to let it go. Shantae, I read your wonderful card that you sent to me, your cute little letter inside, and I thank you so much for your very well wishes. As far as I go is getting better with things that have been going on. I apologize, Shantae, if this card was mailed. I, I really don't know what is going on over there, um, but I did receive it today. Thank you so very much, Shantae. I greatly appreciate the time you took to acknowledge me. I then have a card here from Kelly who is in Missouri. Oh, and I can totally tell that this is a handmade card. Isn't that absolutely adorable? Made with love. There's a stamp on the back. You know, I say it all the time. It comes from the heart. And inside of the card, Kelly wrote, some see a weed and some see a wish. And my wish for you is to get better. Hugs, Kelly. Kelly, you sweet pea. <laughs> I, you guys, now I'm gonna start crying. It's gonna be, I'm on a like major roller coaster ride today. Thank you, my dear, very much for your card. I absolutely love it. And here's another cute one, which I thought was kind of funny. I received another card and it looks just like this too, <laughs> which I thought was pretty cool that I got a double on the same card. And this is, happens to be from Chrissy. Chrissy knows who she is. She is just an absolute sweet pea. She knows I, I am a Star Wars fan. She sent me this Star Wars at Chewbacca. I'm telling you, loving Chewbacca. I think I had a crush on Chewbacca when I was younger. I don't know, call me weird. Wonderful letter, my dear. You will be hearing back from me because you wrote such a wonderful letter and I have so many answers to respond to your questions and things you asked me. It would be impossible to do it all on here, honey, but I got your card. Thank you so much and you will be hearing back from me, Chrissy. Thanks, sweet pea. I really appreciate it. Then I have a card here from Pamela who is in West Virginia. West Virginia is so beautiful. Oy vey, it is absolutely gorgeous. I received this card here that says a note of thanks. And basically Pamela is letting me know that she really enjoys my channel and that she has been praying for me and for my health issues and that she has been a subscriber of mine for a while. She also included a note card inside for me to be able to keep her address, which is totally awesome because I'm actually building a book right now with my subscribers that I deal with like on a constant basis, and there's several of you. I want to be able to just go, boom, there's your name, number, address. I can get whatever I'm sending you taken care of. So this was perfect. I really appreciate it, Pamela. I'm also gonna include that card into the giveaway bag as well. I know I haven't talked about giveaways much lately, but trust me, there are some pretty decent giveaways coming up. I just did a survey. Uh, that survey is still open on my community tab, so check it out. Let me know what you think about what you think a good giveaway would be. My next card here is from Indianapolis, Indiana, and I cannot even begin to tell you that when I'm in, whether it's Rhode Island or I'm in New Hampshire, this is exactly for me. All I need is a bottle of wine, my sunglasses, and this is perfect. I could sit there all day long. What a beautiful card, Pam. I absolutely appreciate that you took the time to say, I'm thinking about you. You guys all have your own lives going on and that you take a moment to, and it's more than a moment, you take 15 minutes, a half an hour of your time to send me a card to say, hey Beth, you know, we're thinking about you. You guys have no idea. It just blows my mind continuously. Thank you so much, my dear. This is from Amy in Michigan. This is so cute. It says, thinking of you today. I'm trying to hold back, guys. I love your channel. And it was great to see your wonderful smiling face that she's been missing me and my humor. Thank you so much, Amy. <laughs> you know, everybody has good days, bad days you know, days that you just wish you didn't even wake up. And it's been a really big roller coaster for me. Um, 
this past year, to be honest with you, um, I've been struggling with health issues. It'll be a year this month, actually. Um, it's tough. And I try to get on here because it's not only therapy for me, you're all my family. And when I sit here, I imagine all of you out there and I'm talking to you. And I wish I could put you all in a room together because I think it would be so freaking awesome to have all of you in one room so we could just sit and talk like forever. I think we'd probably all just have a really good time. And then we go shopping. This is from, I'm not sure. Let me just double check here. Bear with me one mo Wendy. <laughs> Oh, Wendy, <laughs> look at that kitty cat. Isn't that adorable? That's kind of how I feel like when I came home from the post office. It was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I didn't go to the post office to get, you know, harassed. I went there because it's usually a good time because I get stuff in my mailbox besides bills and AARP crap lately. God's got your back. Just rest in his love. You ain't kidding, girlfriend. Wendy. <laughs> You've been with me for a long time now, my love. Thank you so very much. Hugs and kisses your way, Wendy. Thank you, my dear. And then, actually, Wendy, I think I got... I did. Miss Wendy, you're feeling bad? <laughs> oh, look at the puppy. His dad adorable. Miss Wendy. <sighs> I couldn't find a chocolate lab. Oh, sweet pea. <laughs> That's okay. I've got one right here. Actually, I want another one. Uh, sh don't tell her that yet. I, I'm just putting it out there. That we're not going to go anywhere yet with that. Okay, so um, a little rest and some TLC with love and prayers. That's what you need. You ain't kidding, girlfriend. Wendy, I love you. Thank you so much, honey. I really appreciate it. You... Girl, you just got it going on. You really do. This is from Lise in Massachusetts. Now, I do this all the time to this poor girl <laughs> because of the way her name is spelled. Some people say Lisa. Some people will say Lise. You know who you are. <laughs> this is absolutely gorgeous. I love lighthouses, and you don't really see them too much often anymore, but isn't that just a beautiful card? I would just love to be sitting on this rock right here. And when I go to Rhode Island, I I can show you pictures and videos of me doing that. Sitting by the lighthouse, my footsie's in the water, and man, do I need a vacation. Oy vey. A wonderful note inside of here, basically just letting me know that she's thinking about me and telling me how much she enjoys my channel. Lise, I am so happy to know that I make some people laugh and smile because truly... If I can make somebody laugh or smile from something I do or say, it makes me just happier than a pig in poop. <laughs> yep, I said it. Like a pig in poop. It just, it tickles me to death. Thank you so very much. Now, I received, let me just open it up here. Bear with me one moment here. I am just in awe. I, I really am. This is from Renee in where is Renee she is in I believe she's Nebraska I do apologize let me just double check again um I'm not sure oh my goodness I'm embarrassed I'm really she's in Norfolk um but it's kind of smudged okay well you're gonna know who you are my dear Renee I apologize like I said this mail I don't know what they're doing over there at my post office. <sighs> this is absolutely beautiful. It's a pocket letter. You guys know, like, I am so into pocket letters, yet I've never made one. I really want to learn how to make one. Um, they just blow my mind because it's... Oh, I just... Did you notice there's a letter right there. I will open that later, my love. Thank you so much. Look at all these individual pockets Look at all these wonderful, wonderful treat. Check that out. It's like a donut. Oh my gosh. I really want to do a pocket letter. And I think what I need to do is take apart a couple pocket letters and just, I think I got, oh, there's tea in here too. Oh, squirrel. Sorry. <laughs> Look at that tea. Oh, thank you so much. These are awesome. I really want to learn how to do a pocket letter. And trust me, I... I just don't have the time right now. I feel so bad. I'm just 
so behind and trying to catch up with everything that's been going on. Thank you so very much. It is absolutely beautiful. I will take a look at that little letter inside later. Thank you so much. Last but not least, I saved this for last um, only because there was a little bit of involvement here. And I know that once I start saying thank you, I'm going to get really emotional and I saved this for last so I wouldn't be a big baby through this whole video. I received a box and it says, hope you're feeling great by the time you get this card. <sighs> Dear Beth, that way instead of a get well card, it can be glad you're better card. This is from Rose. Rose has been a subscriber of mine for quite a long time now. That is the beginning of the card. I won't share the inside because Rose has some personal information. Um... I'm sorry, here I go. Uh, <laughs> I talk about how much I enjoy drinking tea all the time because my mom was from England. I spent a lot of time in Europe and tea was just something that was a big deal in my family and it still is a big deal. Rose took the time, sent me this chamomile blend. There's 15 tea sachets in here. It is absolutely beautiful. And then inside the box is this gorgeous teapot. It is so pretty. It's got all these moth and white. Oh my gosh. I'm going to start looking like Alice Cooper in a minute. And then there's like a diffuser inside. Oh my God. It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Mommy's okay. It's okay. There was also some stickers. And then Rose, it's like, you guys get me. You hear what I'm saying. I talk about mermaids and unicorns and tea. And she also included these hand sanitizers, which I was just looking at something like this online the other day because these are from Bath and Body Works. I know exactly where they're from. I, <clears throat> excuse me, Rose, <clears throat> you will be hearing from me besides this video. I thank you so much, all of you, for your wonderful, thoughtful prayers and your comments. I love all of you. You're all very special to me, and you're all very special to Kalu, too, because she's part of this family as well. My love to all of you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now.